Hi, I'm Holly, a teacher at Twinkle. Thank you for joining me for one of our read and learn videos. In these videos, we read some wonderful stories and learn and talk about them together. Today, we'll be reading a story called The Perfect Ribbit. You can stop the video whenever you like. You can talk to an adult, draw or write down what you think. This is what the story looks like. What do you think it's going to be about? Stop the video and tell somebody, draw or write down what you think might be in this story. On the front of this book, I can see some green and brown frogs. I can also see somebody else right in the middle. It's not a frog. I wonder if you know what it is. Let's turn the book over and look at the back. Sometimes there are helpful clues on the back of a book. Hmm, there he is again in the corner. Let's read the blurb together. Tapple, the tadpole, can't wait to grow into a frog. He starts to practice the perfect ribbit, but just can't get the hang of it. As his body changes, Tapple hopes that his ribbit will too. Can he learn to make the perfect frog noise? Now we know what this is. It's a tadpole. Did you know that? I'm going to read this story all the way through and I'll be asking you to help me. So let's get reading. Frog spawn, tadpole, froglet, frog. This page is not really part of the story. What do you think it shows us? I think that this page shows us what Tapple looks like as he grows from frog spawn to tadpole to froglet to frog. Did you know each little black dot in the frog spawn is a new tadpole waiting to hatch? On a sunny day in spring, Mama Frog admired the eggs she had laid in the pond. That is the most beautiful clump of frog spawn I've ever seen, smiled Papa Frog. Mama and Papa couldn't wait for the little black dots to turn into tadpoles so they could welcome them to the pond. Which frog do you think is Papa Frog? How can you tell? Hmm. I think Papa Frog is the frog who is talking, so it must be the frog with his mouth open. After three weeks, the first tadpole wriggled out of his jelly, excited to explore. Mama says I'm a tapple, he told the fish proudly. Not a tapple, a tadpole, said Mama Frog with a smile. But tapple is a great name for you. Tapple was full of questions and learnt lots of things about pond life. He learnt that fish were fast swimmers and that some of the ducks had ticklish feet. Most importantly, he learned that when he grew up, he would become a frog, just like Mama and Papa. I want to be a really good frog, he thought. Maybe I should start practicing now. Which tadpole is Tapple on this page? Can you point to him? How do you know that's Tapple? I think that this tadpole in the middle is Tapple. I can tell that he's thinking hard and he has his eyes open. What colour are Tapple's eyes? Tapple has brown eyes. Tapple swam to the surface of the pond to watch some of the other frogs. They looked very different from Tapple and they made the most amazing noises. Ribbit, ribbit said the frogs. They were so loud that Tapple could hear them from under the water. Why do you think the words ribbit ribbit are so big? I think the words are big to tell us to read them loudly. How loud can you ribbit? I want to be just like them, thought Tapple, but I'll need a perfect frog noise. So Tapple swam to the clearest patch of water and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. I want you to do the actions with me now. He wiggled his tummy. Can you wiggle your tummy? Puffed out his chin. Stick out your chin. Opened his mouth. Can 
you remember what Tapple says? Robot! He said. Tapple was disappointed. That wasn't the perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're a tiny tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. How is Tapple feeling in this picture? How can you tell? Well done. Tapple's mouth is in the shape of an upside down smile. I think he's feeling sad. And the story said Tapple was feeling disappointed. Have a look at this picture. We know Tapple is going to become a frog, but what happens first? What looks different about Tapple? Well done, Tapple has grown some back legs. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some back legs. I'm changing, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So Tapple clung to the tallest pondweed and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. Are you ready to ribbit? He wiggled his tummy. Wiggle your tummy. Puffed out his chin. Stick out your chin. Opened his mouth and... Ribbit! He said. Tapple was sad. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Papa Frog. You're a growing tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some front legs. I've changed some more, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. Tapple's not a tadpole anymore, but he's not quite a frog. We'll find out what he's turning into on the next page. But first, it's time to practice our ribbit. So Tapple stood on the biggest rock and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. Are you ready? He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Robot! He said. Tapple was worried. That wasn't a perfect ribbit. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're nearly a froglet. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. That's right, Tapple will be a froglet next. Pause the video and find which part of Tapple will need to disappear before he can become a frog. I can see that Mama Frog doesn't have a long tail, so I think Tapple's tail will have to disappear. A few weeks later, Tapple's tail began to shrink and he felt able to explore above the water. I'm a froglet, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So Tapple stood on the prettiest lily pad and got ready to practice the perfect ribbit. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Tapple doesn't ribbit. He doesn't robot, he doesn't rabot, he doesn't rebeat. Can you guess what he might do this time? This word is huge, so we have to say it really loudly. Croak as loud as you can. Amazing! How do you think the other animals are feeling? Have a look at the page, look at their faces. How do you think they're feeling right now? All the animals have very big, wide eyes. What does that tell you? Wide eyes means the animals are surprised. How wide can you make your eyes? Can you open your mouth wide at the same time as having your eyes wide? See how shocked and surprised you can look? Have a try. You could even gasp. <gasps> Croak! That wasn't a perfect ribbit, but it was a perfect croak. All of these white bubbles mean that the frogs and tadpoles are all talking at the same time. Can you count how many frog noises there are? Ribbit, trill, croak, ribbit, croak, chirp, grunt, ribbit, peep, robot, ribbit, croak, chirp. Can you find Tapple on this page? What is he doing? 
There he is jumping off of his lily pad while Mama and Papa Frog are watching proudly. On this page, there are some froggy facts. Let's read them together. Female frogs can lay thousands of eggs at a time. A group of frogs is called an army. Frogs can drink water through their skin. Frogs can breathe through their skin and also by using their lungs. Frogs are amphibians. This means they can live on land and in water. Common frogs hibernate in winter. Wow, frogs are amazing. What did you think of the story? Did you like it? Pause the video now and tell someone, draw or write down what you liked best about the story. Hey there adults, there are more activities and questions that you can complete after this video if you'd like to. Just click the links in the description below and have a browse. You can find this story, more activities to do and lots more books to read at www.twinkle.co.uk slash originals. You can also download the Twinkle Originals app to start reading a whole library of books, play games, listen to audiobooks, colour in pictures and loads more. Join me next time for another Twinkle Original story. <coughs>